Hello everyone and welcome to my Revit tutorial. In this Revit tutorial today, I'll be showing you how to make a walkthrough video using Revit. So let's get started. First things first, let's go to the view tab. Under the create subsection, you can find a 3D view button over here. And there's a drop down. The walkthrough button is over here. But before we click on it, let's go to a plan view. So I'll choose level 0. So now let's click on the walkthrough button over here. And let's draw out our walkthrough video, like so. And we can edit it just by left clicking it and edit walkthrough. If you can no longer see it, scroll down, click on the walkthroughs drop down, and select the walkthrough that you've already drawn in, right click, and show camera. So now you can click on edit walkthrough. And you can actually adjust the alignment just by adding keyframes. So proceed to the controls drop down and select add keyframe. You can add keyframes along the way like so. And you can adjust the keyframe placement by going back to path. And you can either make it curve like this or you could add more keyframes to straighten out certain parts of it, for example. And you can actually press previous keyframe and the camera will go back to the previous keyframe. And now it's at the starting point here. Click on play. And you can see how the camera will move. So this is very different from compared to Lumion, where in Lumion, the way you create a walkthrough is by taking pictures in a 3D view and Lumion will fill in the gaps between those frames. So this is a very different concept compared to Lumion. So if you'd like to change the frame rates, you can actually scroll down and find the walkthrough frames over here. So right now we have a total number of frames of 300 and the FPS is 15. So this will leave us a total time of 20 seconds. So in this case, I want to increase the total frames to 600 and make the FPS 30 so it's more smooth. Click on apply. So as you can see, the total time is still 20 seconds. And I will make sure that the uniform speed is checked over here. Click on OK. So one last thing before we can render out our video. So we can actually change the detail level from medium to fine. And now if you want to open up the Walkthrough, just double click on the walkthrough here. And you can see this walkthrough right over here. So if you were to click on this view over here, you can actually enlarge it like so. One way to enlarge it so that you know the number of pixels is to go to the view tab and click on the render button and change the resolution from screen to printer. So I can play around here with the width. For example, I can make it 1920 and I can make it 1080. So now that I've already gotten the exact size of this camera view to 1920 by 1080 pixels here, the reason why I'm using printer instead of screen is because if I use screen, if I were to zoom in and zoom out, it will affect the width of the pixels and the height. So that's why I decided to go back to the printer setting. So one way that you can set the focal length is by clicking on the 3D full navigation wheel here. If it doesn't show up in the walkthrough, just, just make it show up in another view like the 3D view and try place it out. And click on this small drop down here and you can actually increase or decrease the focal length, increase walk speed, or decrease it, or level camera. First I'll level it, and then I'll try play around with the focal length. So I can either decrease the focal length by left clicking and dragging out, or I could increase the focal length by left clicking and dragging in. Please do note that this is not as accurate as Lumion. 
where in Lumion you can actually set a correct value. In here you cannot. So you can actually change the black and white style to realistic over here or consistent colors. So in this case I'll be using realistic. So in order to render out this walkthrough video in Revit, please go to the file button over here. Go to the export settings here and click on images and animations. Walkthrough. So you can set the dimensions here. It's already 1920 by 1080. And the frames per second is 30. Total duration is 20 seconds. Zoom is 100% over here. You can either choose the visual style from realistic with edges, rendering, and there are quite a lot of other options here. There's no ray tracing option, just a note. So I'll just click on OK with these settings here, and I'll quickly save it. So one thing to note about Revit renders is that Number one, if you were to have these steel connections, you would have a problem with your walkthrough video. And I'll show you that in a minute, but right now I'll show you how to prevent this issue from happening just by hiding these steel connections. So just scroll down and find steel connections here and uncheck it. Click on apply and OK. And if I were to go and render this out by going to the export section, Clicking on images and animations and choosing walkthrough. And let me just quickly save this. And I'll use the full frames uncompressed. So in this render here, you can clearly see that there's no issue of zooming out then zooming back in. And on the bottom left here, we have the progress of our render. Okay, now that our render is done, I'll quickly open it up. So when you open up the walkthrough video from Revit, you might have this broken or missing index. Let VLC fix it by building the index. And there we go, this is our walkthrough video from Revit. Without the steel connections, we don't have any errors. However, you can see that there's a lot of aliasing on edges here. So that's a big downside of using Revit. And now I'll quickly show you a render of the portal frame with the steel connections on. You'll get this type of error. So now you can see that we're currently zoomed out from the walkthrough. And if I were to click on OK, you'll see that yeah, we are still very much zoomed out. So this is the issue of using Revit walkthrough renders, for rendering out portal frames. So this is why I suggest to anyone, please do your renderings of walkthroughs using third-party softwares. So now I'll compare between the walkthrough video with the steel connections and the ones without. So this is the one with the steel connection. Again, you need to build the index. So this is the problem if you put the steel connection inside the walkthrough video. It is a complete mess. It gets better as it proceeds into the video, but then eventually it also has more problems. So this pretty much wraps this tutorial on using Revit for walkthrough videos. It is highly unrecommended because it has lots of glitches, such as the walkthrough video with the steel connections. That's why I prefer to use software such as Lumion. And if you did learn something new from this video tutorial, do give this video a thumbs up. And do consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoy the type of content that I make. And as always, stay safe and keep learning.